Oof. All right, guys, welcome back to Murder Soul Suspect. Last time we left off, we did some reconnaissance at the cemetery and we ended up finding one of the victims of the bell killer. This dude is apparently brutal. He took a young girl, put her in a chair, strapped her, and then basically dropped her into the water. Dude is a menace. After putting a symbol on her arm, we ended up running into her in the last video and she gave us some clues after we used her clairvoyant thing. But we grabbed her arm, we uh, were able to see her memory, so we got a, flu a few clues. And uh, now we're headed to the asylum, so we can find out something about another victim. Uh, we did a lot of uh, searching through the graveyard, that video was quite long. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get back into this. There we go. I actually transferred it this time, or I switched scenes. Okay. So we just have to get to the asylum now, or the mental ward. I do like this. It's a cool aspect of having the town of Salem overshadowing the current town of Salem. I think that's a nice little detail. It's really cool. There it is. Psychiatric hospital. Yes. Mental hospitals. One place torture is considered for your own good. If their experiments ever succeed in restoring a person's sanity, I better hope it was at the expense of the person's memory. Ready? Relax, we're out of the graveyard. And into crazy town? A big improvement. It isn't much better. People who see things nobody else can see end up living here. Not that crazy. Come on. I'll help you get inside, but... But what? Look, if we're gonna ask this girl Iris about this contract, the asking needs to be done by a living person, right? She's scared. Just remember who opens the door for you, tough guy. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's already unsettling. All right, kid. You're up. I just find a way to get Iris's room number. Um, hi. I need your help. I'm looking for a friend. Visiting hours are over. Right. But, but, she was with the cops. Then go talk to the cops. See, I, I did, and, and they said that she was a danger to herself, and... I can't help you. All right. Just need to stall her, okay? We have to figure out what her weaknesses are. That's where you These come in. Things on her desk will help us. Oh, her son. Visitation severely limited. And then we have her son. I don't think the cat has anything in to do with it. I mean, hanging in there does come in handy. Probably plays on her beliefs. He's most likely a man of imposing size and stature. Someone who's accustomed to violence. Heinous acts in his past define him to the point where he no longer knows who he truly is. Hmm. E Rex. A get well soon gift? What's in here? I'll collect it. Let's see what we can find in the areas. Nine? They're just straight jackets, ain't they? Okay. I love this game's like way of hiding things. It's just ghostly objects. If you're okay, you're all I have left. Just like this girl's friend is all she has left. Sorry, I know how hard it can be when someone depends on you. What's your friend's name? Iris, uh, Iris Campbell. 
Yes. It looks like your friend Iris is here. Everything's gonna be okay. Thanks. I, I feel better. Hold tight, kid. I got this. Just need to get my eyes on her computer screen. Where is Iris being held? Room 216. That's She's all I need. Room 216. We gotta find it quick, Joy. She's scheduled for electroshock. What the shit? Said she's gonna be okay, my butt cheeks. Coast is clear. I, I love the phasing sounds. Give me that. Can't go that way. Let me see. Where is this thing? Poltergeist. Iris is due for shock therapy in 15 minutes. Like, fry your brain shock therapy? Oh shit. Oh shit is right. Let's get moving. Another camera. You get on it. Where is this camera? There is this camera. Oh shit. A lot of people. Electroshock room. Ultra guys, the TV that would get their attention. I have to go back to Joy. I already hit the camera though, didn't I? She has a point there, actually. Dream journal. Oh. Go away. Okay. I'm sorry. I won't bother you, lady. It's okay. I can't go through those walls. I can go through those. Also, I'm probably not going to play Black Ops 6 the day it releases. To understand about Mrs. Gwynn? Okay, Joy. You should be good now. Joy, are you stuck? Oh. Joy. Girl. Come on, Joy. Girl, I left the I let the doctor away. Let me go ahead and do this. I say it's probably the camera is why she can't get by. Hmm. Oh boy. You're up again, kid. I need to possess you to get past this crap. Nope. Oh, I hate that. Or you can just go on. Totally alone in here. <gasps> Fine. You know what these hands are? Lost souls, I guess. Just seems like the opposite of moving on. Or at least the opposite of moving on your trying to do. Need five more. We do. All right, keep going. Get to Iris's room. No, no, we stick together. Joy, we don't have a choice. Now I'll meet you there as soon as I figure out a way around this. Go. Oh man, maniac ward. Autonomy. Sealed. There's gonna be demons in this in this piece most likely. Look at all these hiding spots. There's more than likely gonna be demons in here. Uh, 
<sighs> I didn't think I was still on top of the territory. Hmm. I can't go up there. We'll drop down. There's more. Creepy. I knew there was a reason for this. Yeah. Do that. Three more. Perfect. Never mind. I knew there was a reason for the cat at least. A skull in there? Why is there a skull in there? And it's not a ghost realm skull. It's an actual skull. Creepy. Jump down, cat. Oh. Bullshit. All three of them are down there. Which means I have to get down there and then take out the demons. More than likely. And I drop down that way. I can't see a damn thing. I said, there's gotta be a way for me to get down there. Aha! Now the fun part. I'll take them all out so I can at least search the area. There's a demon here and there's a demon there. But where does that one go? This one just circles back around. This one's gonna be rough. Oh shit. I didn't mean to whistle. I was gonna do 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 do. Okay. These are going to be fun. This demon's watching that demon. There's a crow right there. Got it. Okay. I keep forgetting my keybind locations. Okay, so the best thing I can do is use a distraction method or wait for this one to turn around, take that one out, and then hit that one. No, that's not gonna work. Okay, so there is other uh, ghosts I can talk to in this area. But how am I gonna distract these ones long enough? There's one crow. That one's not even paying attention. Come on, turn around. Okay. Run!
Got it. Woo. Free. I gotta worry about those guys no more. Just these. Okay. Let's go ahead and talk to that other demon dude we saw. He said, there's gotta be more stuff in this area. A demon. A cat demon. I just read the Dandadan manga. Those parts aren't me. Where am I? Do you work here? Show some mercy. I wish I could help. I'm sorry. Oh. Those are his parts. And he knows it. Is that a baby doll? It is a baby doll. Hmm. Oh. I don't see anything. I guess the rooms are only meant as a cover against the demons. Okay. We should be good. Let me go around here. There's only a hiding spot, nothing here. Okay. Go ahead and move on. Nothing. There's gotta be a way to get in there. Is there a cat or something? What? Oh, teleport. Duh. Forgot about the teleport. Well, that could be useful against demons too, I guess. I used my brain. Hey, Roman. Did you forget about me? No, I'm right here. Come on, Joy. Oh god. Found it. We'll look at the story in a minute. You're gonna be so safe. Everything is gonna be fine. Don't you worry. Everything will be okay. I'm not gonna let anyone Damn. anyone touch you. I don't think we're worried about shock treatment, but she's already a lost cause. Fine. You go see what our comatose witness has to offer. After all. Sorry, Joy. Iris sees me. Okay. Oh. Wow. I've collected a decent amount of stuff. I've been doing pretty good. I've been doing pretty good. Oh, what she can... the hell? She booted me out somehow. <sighs> All right. Let's see if anything here can tell me what the hell is going on with this girl. Data mine the walls.
So I'd be tormented and chased. Iris was captured. Troubled. Those are the demon hands. Analyze. I can't talk to her, can I? Things for like art therapy or something. Do no, blue, blue eyes, cold as death. Who had blue eyes? And, and death? What does that mean? Blue eyes, wolf eyes, blue stare. Oh, I see. Right there. Okay, let me look. Burned at the stake. I see that. Is the symbol he's drawing like a bell? Art therapy? Brains. Well, that don't tell you anything. Just say strapped. Straps. Means it was a danger to herself or something. We got one more clue. Uh, why won't this door open? All right, Joy, you can stay in there with the possessed lady for the time being. I really feel bad about leaving her. She's so uh, she's so upset about it. I can open the door whenever, she doesn't know. I'm guessing I find one more piece of evidence though, so that's what I'll do. I'll see if I can find one more if I can't. I don't see anything. There it is. Two girls. Linked. Oh, so she had a sister, and he took her. Why is she in a psych ward for electric so shock therapy? Okay, go. No, no, just run. Just run. Just run. Go. Leave her alone. So he got the sister, but he didn't get her. Oh, he burned her. So this fool burned her si her sister. his life but paid with her own bell killers going after young girls but what was it what, what'd you see a poor kid her sister freed her when they were about to be scorched but she couldn't return the favor leave us alone Are none of the psych okay? doctors going to help her? It's Rose. She has flames. She was possessed. I told you to stay back. Who are you? I'm Joy. 
You don't belong in this place. Orderlies. Crap, I'm so dead. All right, Iris could be the answer to everything. Help her, help her. Come on, she's coming with us. No, you're not taking her. Look, you want the orderlies to shock her? She stays here. You want her to be safe outside? She comes with us. It's up to you. Let's say sneak out behind them. We could probably do it. Okay, distraction there. They're moving. Those orderlies aren't paying attention. This orderlies over here focused on this radio. And then I just have to get them through the gate. Rose, your help would be much appreciated. Is there a camera in here? No. I just have to open the gate for him. The little ghosts running around a pretty cool touch. Come on, y'all. Yeah, like, look at the little ghost children. How do you not hear them? Come on, y'all. Get y'all to the exit. Get y'all out of this place. Get y'all to the door first. I'll follow. Over here. In those shadows there. Close is clear. Why do my worst nightmares keep getting way worse? Okay, let's figure this out. Thought I would never see this again. Alright. So what do you know about this contract? Nothing. I... Oh, come on. It doesn't make sense. So he just asked you if you knew about a contract? He didn't ask. He wanted us to admit to it. Admit to having a contract with... Demons. Demon? We did nothing to him. He had no reason to go after us the way he did. That's Max Caulfield. He, did. he drowns one girl and burns another. Where have I seen that steak before? Huh. The steak you seen was the gala invitation. That's what it looks like. That's it. All right, look, look. Get Iris to the church. Make sure that she's safe. I'll catch up with you later. Go. Okay. Come on, Iris. All right. Now, what the hell does a museum gal have to do with Rose's murder? Hmm. Okay. Huh. Invest investigate possible bell killer survivor at the asylum. Investigate the gala for links to the bell killer. How could the bell killer or his murders be linked to the gala? Start an investigation. Okay. Okay. Why are you just walking? Why are you floating? You're not a ghost. Okay. Let's go ahead and listen to that. Wherever it is. Oh, I see it. I think I see it. Oh, okay. A watery gray, the bell tower banshee. Which one did I fully... I'm missing one from there. Man in the box. That's the one we haven't seen yet is man in the box, eternal flame, and then these few. We need one more, and then we get that one. Let's listen to man in the box. We haven't heard this one yet. I've, uh, I've had a long career working as a state inspector for the Department of Mental Health. During that time, I've been to a lot of institutions, and I have seen a lot of horrible things. But um, nothing even comes close to the evil events that I witnessed at Fairhaven Sanitarium, the place they now call Lux Eterna. I first arrived in um, 1926 to investigate claims of overcrowding and neglect. However, Fairhaven's reputation was tainted 
long before that. In 1911, Fairhaven opened its doors for the first time. A notoriously violent criminal by the name of Jack Yates was the hospital's first patient. He was to be the, uh, the, the shining example of the hospital's ability to cure the mentally deranged. However, when the superintendent's family was visiting one day, Yates broke free from his restraints and he, uh, he killed the man's wife. Since then, no one knows what happened to Yates or the superintendent. Well, that is, until now. Superintendent Wallace Halstead greeted me at the door. He seemed as empty and unkempt as the patients he lorded over. And uh, as I conducted my evaluation, I couldn't help but notice how nervous he got when I passed by a small broom closet. And naturally, I felt it necessary to find out why. When I opened the door, I was hit by the overpowering smell of human excrement. Yuki. As the light flickered on overhead, I, I was horrified at what I saw. A withering man lay shackled to the floor in a pile of his own filth. Years of sunless existence had turned his skin, hair, and eyes milky white. He'd been chained there for so long that his, his skin had grown over the shackles. Um, it took me a moment to realize that the husk of a man was Jack Yates. The police arrived and Dr. Halstead was carted off. Doctors moved Yates from the small room for the first time in 15 years. That's brutal. The floor beneath him was permanently stained with the shape of his silhouette. They, they tried to remove the shackles from under his skin, but the shock of it all was too much for him. He, uh, he died the next day. I watched as they walled up his tiny prison, trying to pretend that it never happened. I honestly hope he's in a better place. Although the staff still claims to hear his agonizing wails coming from inside the walls. That is brutal. He was supposed to be a patient, not a prisoner. Jesus. They had the man shackled to a small little shower room. For 15 years. That is insane. That is brutal. It kind of reminds because he said he killed his wife. That reminds me of the man from Spoiler Head. Spoiler for The Walking Dead. There was a season where Morgan was like overcome by his uh his loss of his son. That he met uh I can't remember his name, but he met that guy in the woods and he told him a story about how his wife was killed by a murderer he let live and let set free. Uh, it's a it's a sad story even in that series too. I recommend watching those episodes of Morgan's rehabilitation because those episodes were brutal. And it's just cool seeing Morgan like come into his zen where he's just like peace. I don't want anybody to die. All that good stuff. But uh, yeah, this was a good part. I enjoyed this. I love these little stories. I think they're awesome. So I kind of want to get as many as the collectibles as I can. I don't know if I'm going to do that right this second, but I would like to go and get them. It reminds me of creepy pastas, and they're awesome. I love them. They're so fun to listen to, and they're so interesting. Like, they're so short, but they're so good. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, all the good stuff, and I'll see you all in the next one. And with that, peace.